Hi, Edward Bautista with Burkert Fluid Control Systems. Today I'd like to show you one of the many ways that you can utilize one of the two binary outputs from your AE692 series positioner. This positioner is currently experiencing a deviation between the command and the actual position of the valve. We can view this as a difference between the command and the position percentages, as well as an increase in this deviation bar here. Whenever the deviation bar increases to the right, the position is less than the command. When it increases from the center to the left, the position is greater than the command. Although we can view this information on our display, we can also send a binary output back to our PLC whenever there's a deviation present. This will help us quickly diagnose and fix any problems before it affects our process. For this demonstration, we'll be using our 2301 series globe control valve as well as our 8692 series positioner. We'll also be using this 4 to 20 milliamp simulator and this 24 volt DC blue LED lamp on the simple control box. Whenever a deviation occurs, this blue LED should light up. To program our binary output, we first access the main menu by holding down the menu key for a few seconds. In the main menu, we scroll down to Add Function and press Enter. This will take us to the Add Function submenu where we have a list of other options to choose from. We scroll down to Output and then Confirm by pressing Enter. Then press Exit to go back to the main menu. We should now be able to view and access the Output option. Scroll down to Output and press Enter. This positioner has three output options to choose from, one analog and two binary. Since we tied the blue LED lamp to binary one, we'll select binary one and press Enter. The binary output can be tied to different events that occur in your process. Since we want the binary output to be sent whenever there's a position deviation, we highlight position deviation and then press select. Now we'll enter the percentage and deviation at which we want the binary output to be sent. For this demonstration, we'll set this at 5%. Once the deviation percentage has been set, we can press OK. We then scroll down to Output Type and press Enter. The device will then ask us if we want the circuit to be normally open or normally closed. Since we only want the output to be sent whenever the event occurs, we select Normally Open and then press Exit four times to go back to the home screen. This concludes the programming for the binary output. To test the binary output on our device, we'll begin by restricting the pilot pressure to the 8692 series positioner. We'll continue increasing the 4 to 20 milliamp signal until we reach a deviation of 5% or greater, at which point the blue LED lamp should light up. Once we return the pilot pressure back to our positioner, this should allow the position of the valve to increase closer to the command percentage. The deviation will be reduced and the blue LED on our control box will be turned off. When the binary output is used to detect a position deviation, it could help to quickly identify any mechanical or pneumatic issues that may arise before your process is affected. It's also a great way to get the most out of your Burkert positioner. If you'd like to learn more tips regarding the 8692 series positioner, feel free to contact the Burkert representative. Thank you for watching today's video. Have a great day.